Hello everyone, today I want to tell you about updated Netpeak Checker 3.2 with new integrations, parameters and functionality. And in this video I will tell you all the details about the updated program. So let's get it started. The first service I want to tell you about is Similar Web. It will be useful not only for digital marketers but also for business owners because it will help you to automate data collection of website traffic and ease niche research also for link building or other tasks. So, as for now, we have 14 parameters in our Netpeak Checker, but if you'll find some more useful in their API, feel free to let us know and we may add them in future updates. I want to warn you that only users with a paid subscription to SimilarWeb can get this data. To get this data, you need to add your API key into the program. To do so, just go to the Settings, Services, and Similar Web. By the way, uh, here we have a useful link that will lead you right to the Similar Web API management system. So, let's move on. We have three new integrations with Google services. Let's talk about them one by one. The first is Google PageSpeed Insights. In combination with Search Engine Scraper, it will help you to make a quick niche research and understand the, like an average URL lot speed in bulk so it will just and also you will get it for free of course uh, how you how you can start using the API of Google All, the only thing you need is just to follow our instructions on settings and Google services API tab you will set the API key to retrieve all the data from three services, from three integrations, and just select the necessary parameters of these services in a sidebar. Then we have Google Mobile Friendly Test Integration. I want to say that this integration has one limitation. You can set, send only one request per 100 seconds. So, uh, Use it only for like a template pages. It can be a product pages or listings of your website or your competitor websites. Uh, just not to waste uh, this, not to waste the time to get unnecessary data for the whole list of pages. And the last service uh, that we have with the Google integration is Google Safe Browsing. You will understand either the URL is blacklisted by Google or not. How you can actually use it? First, check the main pages of your website. It can be either the main page or maybe the most profitable pages, the first case. Then check all the backlinks of your website to understand either you have this kind of bad backlinks that you would rather disavow uh, and just never show to Google anymore. And the third case is analyze the links that you have on your website. I mean, the links that are pointing to the external websites from your website to understand either you're leading the, your visitors to some kind of bad website because it can be a sign of a bad optimization for the search engines on your website and you just can lose your rankings. That's it for the Google integrations, don't forget to use it, it's free uh, and let's move on, we have a lot of stuff to talk about today. Next feature I like the most, starting from now we can scrape phone numbers and in combination with the search engine scraper and email finder, it will help you to set up a base of cold contacts in a few clicks. All you need to do is just to set up a queries to the search engine scraper then get all of them to the main table, tick on to check boxes, and here we go, you have a list of contact details of companies in every niche you want to start with. Start using it and I'm sure you'll definitely find the necessary contact details. Let's talk about improvements in search engine scraper. The new feature allows adding prefixes at the beginning of each search query. For example, it can be a popular search engine operators like site or in URL, in title, but it also can be just a simple word. You can use it to get all the pages in like some kind of category of your website, or if you want to find all of 
pizza restaurants in list of cities or something like that. It's limited only by your imagination. And the second improvement is you can get all the immediate results from Google result page. I'm sure you get used to the message like 20 results were hidden uh, and click here to get all of them. Really, starting from now, you just need to uh, click in the ch checkbox in the settings to get all of them. Go to the settings, search engines, Google field, and then just switch on include immediate results checkbox. That's it, let's move on. We have added several new parameters for SERPstat that will help you to quickly evaluate the website optimization and chances of visibility growth. So now you can get the number of domain keywords that are ranked in top 10 that are ranked from 11th to 20th, from 21st to 50th, from 51st to 100 positions. It will help you to you know, understand the chances, how many keywords you can rank higher. If you have a lot of them in top 20 and even more in top 10, it means that it will be easier to get them from the top 20 to top 10 and like, vice versa. Of course, if you have not a lot of keywords in top 10, but a lot of them in top 50, it doesn't mean that it will be easier for you to rank them higher. Then we have several new parameters for SEMrush that will be really useful for link builders. So check it out, I'm sure you will like it. And by the way, in previous versions, you could get only host data for, from SEMrush, but in Netflix Checker 3.2, you can get the information about certain pages or like, a, it, you can get about the certain pages, about the root domain or like an exact host. By the way, I'm sure you noticed that previously to, you had to choose a data, search database right in the sidebar. Starting from now, we move them to the settings tab. So just go to the ACMrush or SERPstat tab of the settings and choose the necessary search database. And by the way, you can use the search field and just type uh, the necessary country to ease the navigation through this. Tab. That's actually a bit it about the ACM Russian Serbstad. So let's move on. In previous version of NetPeak Checker, we implemented synchronizing the tables with selected parameters option in the sidebar. It allows you to focus only on necessary data and get rid of everything else. But if you suddenly forget what parameters you analyzed or applied in old project, now you can display hidden columns just in one click. Use the button to display columns with data in the sidebar and it will solve this problem even if you open previously saved project. We improved integration with the Facebook API. Starting from now you can get two new parameters, it's reactions and comments via plugin, but be aware of their limitations. Now you can send only 200 requests per hour. To get your IP key, just follow the link in the settings. And the next thing I want to tell you is kind of sad because we stopped supporting the operating systems lower than Windows 7 Service Pack 1 because we started using the latest version of the .NET framework and it requires us to stop supporting these old operating systems. I'm sorry, but guys, please update your Windows. It will help you to get the better user experience and use the software with the best performance and the uh, best functionality. So let's briefly run through the, all the things I've told you today in this video and just sum it up. In NetPeak Checker 3.2, we integrated new services, automated phone number search and improved email finder. Also, we improved search engine scraper tool. Now you can add prefixes at the beginning of each search query and also get the admitted results from the results page. Then we have new parameters for SERPstat and SEMrush. And at the end, I want to say that we have more than 20 other updates in user interface to make your user experience better. Thanks a lot for your attention. I hope you liked this video and if you enjoyed it, just thumbs up, subscribe and comments below with any idea or suggestion that you have. Thanks a lot again. Wish you a lot of traffic and a good week. 
बाय बाय